Hello everyone, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so it's been a while again, as usual. <laughs> oh my goodness, I, oof, it's been a week. <laughs> so, um, I'm back, I'm back. And look at that guys, I got the snuggle me. I don't know, did I make a video showing you guys? Gosh, I think I did and I didn't upload it. I lo uploaded it. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, as you can see, I don't know if you guys can tell, but he's on the snuggle me. Give me one second. It's this pillow here. It's kind of like, not pillow, baby lounger, I would say. And I am loving it. I, Jesus, now I remember that I made a video about it, I think, and I didn't even upload it. Give me one second. Um, okay, it's kind of... Okay, it's not the ideal maybe to film with this, um, how you call it? Oh my gosh, I can talk today. With this tripod, okay, I think that's a little bit better. Uh, I feel, I wish like this wasn't like that, so I feel it kind of covers him a little bit, but it's okay, you can guys see him. Um, so I'm going to change him and I'm going to, I have a little hole, very little hole at the end. And when I change him, um, I'm going to give you a little... <laughs> life update again um, about my son my little one um, you guys know I told you I've been dealing with a lot of stress you know about him going back to school and well he couldn't go because of his sensor issues and you know he cannot tolerate the mask so the doctor said it's not safe for him to be at school without the mask but we did have a meeting the other day we did have a PPT meeting they call it when you get together with all the therapists and the teacher or should I say the one that was supposed to be his teacher because you know he's not going to school right now uh, and kind of like the boss of you know all those ladies there and of course the parents to kind of, and you know, we kind of review his IP, which is the individualized, um, you know, education plan and all that. Uh, if you have kids with special needs, you guys know about that. So, um, anyway, so the thing is to make it short, um, you know, because he, he, I was trying to do the therapies at home with him, just like I used to do you know, before he went to school in person. And guys, let me tell you, oh, by the way, he's gonna be wearing this super cute outfit. Look at that, with the rainbows. I love that. And I picked this outfit, I think, because um, yesterday I did remember that it was my angel anniversary, I guess, for the confirmed miscarriage that, that I have. I think I had two, I would almost say I had two, but one was confirmed, it was my first one, and that's the one that I was remembering yesterday. I, I, you know, oh, you don't forget those things. You don't forget those things. Of course, you know, when you do have, you know, your rainbow baby, which in my case would be my son, Lucas, um, you know, you focus so much on them, of course, because, you know, they are the ones here on earth, right? that sometimes you forget about those dates. I think I forget about those dates sometimes because it's a, it, it was a very sad and heartbreaking thing for me to go through. So anything that makes me sad, I try to kind of forget about it, you know, but yeah, you just, you don't forget. You never forget. You know, the wound is always there, let's just say. But, uh, oh my goodness, look how cute he looks. <laughs> so adorable. But anyway, so what my son is going to be doing is he's going to be going to school just for the therapy. So he's not going to be in the classroom with all the kids. He's going to be at the whatever therapy room that he has to be just with the therapist. And the therapist is vaccinated. And she's going to be wearing a mask, of course. And one of the things, of course, that I'm sure they're going to work on, and I'm going to remind them anyways, is to work on getting him, you know, more used to wearing the mask. Working on that. <laughs> it's going to be hard, let me tell you. It's not easy. I tried. 
but who knows maybe they can find a way around it <laughs> you know who knows maybe maybe with them you know he's different and, and he um, he does what he's supposed to so and that's another reason why we decided these guys because you know kids know who mom is they know <coughs> who the teacher is and who the therapists are and I feel like one reason why I was having such a hard time with him focusing on, you know, when I was trying to do the therapist at home here, <clears throat> it's because, you know, he knows, he knows a mom, he knows he can get away with things that he couldn't get away with at school. You know, they, they kids are, <laughs> kids are very smart for those things, you know. So, um, and also, I don't know, there's more structure at school, like, less distractions too because you know they have say the the speech therapy room and you know it's not full of toys or anything like that so here at home is different you know here i have toys all over the place and he gets distracted with anything anything it's so hard it's so hard to keep him focused you know on, on the whatever activity i'm trying to do so this way it's a lot safer than if he was in the classroom with all the kids you know who of course the kids are not vaccinated yet because you know <laughs> We all know it's not approved for kids yet, um, you know, um, and also they're going to try to do it, to do the therapy sessions early morning, you know, so he's the first one or one of the first ones to go <coughs> into those rooms. So, um, yeah, so it's not exactly what I thought it was going to happen because they also talked about, I mean, the what I thought was going to happen was he was going to get approved to have a tutor coming home. Now, the thing about that is a tutor is not a therapist. And honestly, my son, guys, what he gets the most out of, out of it, like the most, you know, benefit from are the therapists. Um, he's not ready for, you know, say stuff like, you know, the ABCs, the numbers, counting, the colors, the shapes, and all that. He's not ready for that. He is not. Uh, like, I, you know, I feel if I show him any of that, he doesn't understand. Or, you know, since he cannot communicate yet, he cannot talk yet. So it's very, very hard. It's very hard. So, um, so that's why I thought, you know, okay, for him to get, to be able to get the therapies like that in a more safe environment, you know, but more efficient, it's ideal for him it's great of course there's a little risk I know and don't get me wrong I'm kind of scared I mean I'm not gonna lie you know but um but I'm trying to think that you know it's the best for him um and again it's safer it's much safer than if he was going to the classroom and the therapy sessions are only 20 to 30 minutes long and he's gonna have two therapies per day he's gonna go three days a week so he's gonna be there between 40 minutes and an hour Okay, so I can go to the car and have a coffee, who knows, you know, just um, kill some time. I don't even have to come back home and go back to get him. Uh, even though I live close to the school, I think, you know, since I'm, this is going to be just 40 minutes or an hour, to an hour, I might, rather, I might as well just stay there in the car and, like I said, just read a book, read something, listen to music, whatever, you know. <laughs> Oh my goodness, look at Noah, how cute he looks, you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take some pictures of him. I haven't put this outfit in any of my babies in a, in a long time, in a while. So, he looks super cute. Um, and I'm gonna show you, I, so I did a little bit of shopping for Labor Day. The only things I got for Labor Day, guys, is um, this Snuggle Me pillow, which was like 30% off. And actually, I did get another extra 10% off coupon, so it was 40% off. I couldn't pass it up. I just couldn't pass it up. I've been wanting to get one of these for a long time. For pictures, I think it's amazing. I love how realistic the babies look on it, the dolls look on it. So, yeah, amazing. Um, and I did buy, which I also had in mind for a while. I've been having, I've, been had, I've had in mind for a while now to get, is uh, those knee-high socks. And... Give me one quick second. I'm going to show you because I have here baby Rosie. Hold on a second. Baby Rosie, look how cute she looks. I did post a few pictures of her on Instagram wearing this cute outfit. Look at that, guys. I just can't get over it. Look at the, the, the bonnet. is cream color. It matches the cream on the um, romper. And look at these socks. So I bought a few 
of these knee high socks look how cute they are i don't know if you can see but they have like uh like lace on on top oh my gosh how cute is that um and i think these and maybe like um like a sweater or a cardigan or whatever it would be such a cute outfit for fall so <laughs> so i've been planning to get that kind of thing for my um dolls for a while like i said so let me show you so i went to this website called little stocking company and i did buy so those that she's wearing uh they were also having a sale i think it was 20 percent off i believe um First of all, okay, I did get these two bright colors. These are like more like summer colors, but I like them. I really like them. Maybe, you know, more for like um, my Saskia baby or like for Penny. Look how cute. I don't know if the camera is showing, but this color is called melon. Um, and yes, it's kind of like a melon color, like a kind of like a, um, not melon. Um, oh my gosh, I forgot. Watermelon. There you go. Watermelon. Uh, and this one is called purple but it's kind of like an orchid color orchid is that how you call it um super cute so these are super bright i know not very fall like but i really like them and they were on sale uh, and then i got these ones on in cream color for boys i thought i would put the ones with the lace on the girls and this one for the boys um they're like i don't know how you call that cable knit yeah you know typical socks very cute cream goes with everything then i did get some fall colors oh my gosh so cute this color you guys you know i'm obsessed with this color look it matches the snack with me <laughs> i'm obsessed with this color it's kind of like pumpkin they call it i don't know whatever but it's that orangey um, brown that i love so much for fall and then i got these in like a mustard color very fall like and then I got these pink ones. I love these pink ones with the with the lace. It's kind of like a mauvey pink color. Super cute, super cute. They have really nice. And I was scared when I first got them. When I first opened them, I said, "Oh boy, I don't know if this is gonna really look okay on the newborn size babies." And I was scared because um, I bought a few pairs, as you guys can see. So I was pretty concerned. Uh, but no, they actually fit pretty nice, you know. I'm sure they're going to fit better on Saskia. I haven't tried them on Saskia yet. But um, I'm going to do that in a minute when I finish filming this video. But uh, but they still look very nice on my Levi, for example. So I'm sure they would look, you know, nice on him and the rest of the babies. And then I got these kind of like dusty blue um, ones also for boys. Mostly for boys. Um, but of course, girls can use blue. I love girls in blue. And then I got, because I wanted to see how they fit, and I haven't tried them on yet. <laughs> haven't tried on any of the babies yet. Um, this is more for like, I'm guessing, for like Saskia and Penny, you know, like my bigger babies. Even um, Maddie, I think Maddie could fit in this, because, you know, of course they're stretchy. They're like these thighs, um, look how cute. Look how cute, adorable. Really nice quality, I really like it, I'm very happy. Um, so if you are looking for a place to buy socks, you know, knee high socks or thighs, thighs, ties, I don't know, yeah, cable knit ties um, for your babies, I suggest this brand is, is, you know, it's pretty affordable, they're like, eh, they're like about $8 a pair. Um, and the ones on sale were like three dollars, so I just got to pass them up, pass them up, and I also got to got to have free shipping because I bought those. So I was like, okay, win win. <laughs> yeah. So okay, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Look how cute he looks. And yeah, thank you so much, guys, for watching. I hope you're having a fantastic week or weekend. It seems my family is coming to visit. Everything is good for now. Thanks God, touch, knocking on wood, um, nothing, you know, <laughs> their trip haven't gotten canceled. Um, so yeah, so they should be arriving to the US a week from today. Today is Sunday when I'm filming this video. 
Um, now, mind you that when they are here, I am not gonna be filming because I'm, they're gonna be here for only like nine full days. It's crazy. I was looking at the calendar the other day and I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that. You know, I haven't seen my family in almost two years. So, um, so I'm gonna try to soak up every second from when they're here, you know. Um, I'm hoping to have a lot of fun and go places with them and I know we're gonna go to Boston for the day, which I'm very excited about. I am so excited, guys, to leave my little town <laughs> where I live here. Oh my gosh, like, ooh, that's a topic for another video. But yeah, I'm um, I'm looking forward to just being at a, at a city for a few hours again, you know. I just miss, I miss the action, I miss everything. So anyways, thank you so much guys for watching um, and yeah, I hope, I don't know, I'm not sure when this video is gonna go live, probably pretty soon, maybe today, tomorrow, I don't know. But I hope you're having a great week, a weekend, whatever I upload this video. And yeah guys, so I'll see you guys soon. I'm gonna try to film another video at least before they come, okay? So, uh, and maybe schedule them from from when they are for when they are here I don't know we'll see but anyways guys love you and don't forget to follow me on Instagram because I do post pictures there like I said I'm more active there on Instagram I think than here on, on YouTube uh, my username is bundles of joy 83 just like my channel and I always leave the username below okay so thank you guys for watching Mwah! love you bye